The United States has issued a worldwide travel alert to its citizens saying terrorists may be planning an attack. The State Department will close 21 embassies and consulates on Sunday. It says Al-Qaeda link groups may target the peak holiday season up until the end of August. The The State Department move is apparently based on the same intelligence as prompting the closure of 21 U.S. embassies and consulates tomorrow, including one in Cairo. If I was going to the Middle East, yeah, I'd cancel my flight. I would not go anywhere, North Africa, Middle East, I wouldn't do it. It doesn't really bother me too much. An opinion not shared by Mr. Obama, who this week met with the Yemeni president. According to Sky sources, he said to have stated all appropriate steps must be taken to protect Americans. Well, there's been very little information released about the specific threat that relates to this warning. The US State Department says it will be uh, the American citizens should be exercising caution across North Africa and the Middle East. Uh, they say that this threat, uh, that the warning will extend the entire month of August. Now this comes after they said they plan to shut 22 uh, consulates and embassies across the region in, in North Africa and the Middle East, including in Afghanistan and Bangladesh. They say that the, uh, the threat uh, is unspecified but emanates from al-Qaeda or affiliated groups that the attacks could be on civilian or business, uh, commercial or government targets. The alert warns of the potential for terrorists to attack public transportation systems and other tourist infrastructure. This is the same threat that is causing the State Department to close a wide swathe of embassies on Sunday, stretching across North Africa, the Middle East and even parts of South Asia. In the Muslim world, Sunday is a work day, so those embassies which would normally be open right from Tripoli in Libya through to Dhaka in Bangladesh are being shut. Experts say this move is suggestive of the type of intelligence they've received. Britain is also heeding the possibility of an increased threat from al-Qaeda. Its foreign office is closing the British embassy in Yemen's capital for two days starting Sunday. It is also advising British citizens currently in Yemen to leave and warning others not to travel there. CNN television reported on Friday that there was particular concern about the U.S. Embassy in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a, between Saturday and Tuesday. The U.S. television network quoted U.S. officials as saying that members of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, based in Yemen, are in the final stages of planning an attack. U.S. officials stepped up security at diplomatic facilities last year. Militants in Libya killed four Americans, including the U.S. ambassador, in September. And a man set off a bomb this February in the U.S. embassy in Turkey.